So, uh, what I did is that I bought uh, three tape head preamplifiers that I wanted to do a hands-on, compare them, see how they sound, uh, connect them to, my, to a real-to-real -real machine that I have, and uh, see the results. I bought three of them, and uh, the first one is uh, the one you can already see. It is here, a chip, okay. It, this is a very simple chip. It only has a tape head input and an output, that output that you connect directly to your uh, amplifier. That's it. Uh, okay, this is the simplest of all, uh, and I wanted to test this. Let me show you. It utilizes a chip that is called TA7668. All the preamplifiers that I bought utilize the same chip. I don't know why and how common it is or was uh, some time ago or now. Anyway, this is the first one. The second one is this one here. Okay, let me show you. There it is. This configuration, the board that I have on my hand, is a little bit different than the one in the picture. I don't know why they sent to me a different board, but anyway. So this one got my attention because it can supposedly record instead of only playback. Mm, I thought, um, how could this be possible? Because uh, recording is not uh, very simple. It has to introduce some bias signal, not only to erase the tape, but also to the, record, to the head that records. Need some bias signal, I don't know. Anyway, um, I tried to record with this, but I did not succeed. Anyway, let me show you. It says here that you can first adjust the recording signal and listen to it uh, while uh, putting it on the sound input. Listen to it from the output and see if it is distorted or not. I could not pass signal from an external source to this board. And that's why I could not record. Uh, there was some signal on the tape, but it was very, very low and uh, generally not useful. And uh, even the, the volume was not constant. It would go high, low, high, low, but very low generally. Anyway, the, the last uh, preamplifier, tape head preamplifier that I bought is this one here. And uh, this one caught my attention, is the third one, okay? Because it doesn't only uses this TA7668, it, state here, it states here that it's used. And uh, the, the one that I had before here, it is not new, it is original disassembly chip, it says, and that if I mind, I should not buy it. Anyway, I I didn't mind, so I bought it. This here, it says only used. It doesn't say that maybe I it would bother me, so I should not buy it. But anyway, I bought this too. But it has another chip, which is this one here, which is an audio processing chip and effectively enhances high and low sounds. How about that? And I thought, hmm, this might be interesting. A sound enhancing chip. So we will see if uh, that chip makes uh, something useful. It even has here a jumper where you can select if you will utilize that uh, enhancing sound chip or not. And we can therefore compare uh, how the sound is uh, with or without enhancement. That's it. Now I will go and show you my setup where we will put these three tape head preamplifiers to the test. Let's go. 
So this is my setup. Uh, that here is uh, Philips real to real machine and I opened it. Okay. As you can see, these are the old cables that I desoldered, desoldered from the head. Uh, this machine is a mono machine, but uh, it has a four track uh, head. So I can uh, test uh, the preamplifiers with this. Here I soldered that cable that goes to the, um, the preamplifier. This is a 12 volt battery that I will use for uh, power supply. You can see from here. This uh, preamplifier is already in position to be tested and the output goes here from the back to this, uh, these video meters. I will uh, use this just to make uh, the output, the video, a little bit more fancy. And uh, there, this is the cable that goes there to the, to the PC. And uh, with uh, this PC I will uh, record uh, the signal that comes out while recording the video of it uh, playing. Uh, my house is always a mess as you can see because I'm constantly uh, testing and uh, trying new stuff. So it's, uh, it's never clean and tidy. Anyway. To do this test, I used uh, this uh, good uh, zonal tape and I recorded some uh, Google Free music with my nice uh, and faithful over the years Akai there. And I will play back uh, that recording on this machine through the preamplifiers. These are the others two waiting to be tested after this. Okay, now we will start with uh, sound testing and uh, let's see the results.
Well, well, here we are again, and uh, you have heard the three preamplifiers, and you know how they perform. Uh, I was a bit uh, prejudiced be before I heard them, and I can say that I am uh, surprised by the result. I didn't expect it to be that good. Uh, I consider the sound uh, good enough, with uh, enough uh, highs, clear highs, uh, lows without distortion, and I think uh, these boards are a very good uh, way of uh, reviving uh, old equipment. Uh, let me show you the three boards again, so that you can compare the size of them. Okay? Oh. Here they are. These are three boards, okay? So, let me tell you. That board, which is the one that I show here, okay, it's only uh, 565. That board is uh, 5 plus 2, 26 for shipping. Actually, I recommend that chip here. And why do I recommend it? Because of the sound and hazing chip. It's there. You can uh, decide if you want it or not. You can decide if you will engage it or not. It's there. You can just put a button and use it or not use it. But it's good that it's there. It's a little bit bigger than the simple one, as you can see here. Okay. But... Uh, I think it's worth the try to put this in a, a machine or in a box in, or in uh, wherever you want to put it and have the additional feature. There was a small disappointment for me with uh, this chip because it didn't record and uh, I was... <laughs> Actually, I expected it not to record, but I was hoping for a surprise. Uh, the surprise did not come, and uh, that board, uh, actually, to me, it can't record. If anybody has managed to record with this board, please let me know, because that means that I have a faulty board. Okay. So, since it is not recording, um, it's actual, there, there is actually no reason to buy this and not this. No reason at all. So, without recording, you can just use this and be fine with it. But, uh, comparing these two, as I said, buy that one, that one because of the additional chip and the additional feature. So, that's all uh, till the next video. Thank you.